All right, Dr. Lebo, Lebo Gano, another follow-up uh, today. He is now one day, shy of one day, post-op from Vaser High Definition Power System Liposculpture, gynecomastia, large, big, humongous, probably the biggest one I've ever done, gynecomastia gland removal um, on him uh, through stealth incisions, armpit by the nipple, belly button, and inside the groin. Uh, we have drains in them. Uh, that's because... The skin needs to retract. Now I got a lot of a lot of comments uh, from haters out there uh, about his loose skin, and uh, saying, "Well, you know, one or two said, well, I would have just done the the double mastectomy." You know, that's all good and said to do, but you're not this gentleman. And he saw people in Philly, nope, in Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. Did I say Philly before? No. I did, P Pittsburgh, who, two doc doctors who wanted to do that. And, you know, that's an approach, but he d didn't want that because of, you know, the scarring, his color skin, and uh, once you have those scars across and you, they would take off the nipple as uh, free grafts, it's just not the same. So we're going to give this time for the, for the skin to retract. He's young, and the skin will contract. It's, it's loose here. It's kind of floating. But this is going to really just kind of sit here nicely. And uh, will he need a nipple areola lift in the future? Do like a crescent incision around it and up and lift it up? Maybe, possibly, probably. But we, we wait for that for about a year. We can't do it at the same time because the glands were so big and the skin is so thin that if I'd have done it at the same time, I would have lost the blood supply to the nipple. And that is just not right. Look at the lats back here. The pecs make a muscle. Great pec here, the midline linea alba, the semilunaris, the B to P, the fupa, down to the sides, the back, and the serratus muscles. So this is only part and, you know, really about 18 hours post-op, and he's going to continue to heal. Uh, the skin will tighten up. Uh, we will monitor him. The drains are going to stay in for at least a week, because I want that to really be so sucked in there. He will go back to Pittsburgh with the drains in and we'll uh, FaceTime him, him and his mom, and uh, we'll get these out at an appropriate time. And again, in about a year, we'll do that nipple areola lift. Um, you know, haters will be haters. I love my haters. Um, but, uh, you know, be, be respectful. And that's all I ask. Be respectful to people. Uh, otherwise, you know, what the hell is life for? And we're here to help people. I'm here to help people and make them feel and look great uh, without unnecessary scarring. And I do, uh, you know, guarantee my work. So um, if he needs a little touch up and needs whatever, uh, we'll do it. But we will probably most likely have to do a nipple areola lift. Uh, but that is a year down the road. He'll build muscle, he'll eat clean, and he'll look amazing without unnecessary scarring that he'll be trading one insecurity for another. So, uh, you know, don't, don't judge people, and that, that's all I'm saying. Be nice and be, and be respectful. So um, we're going to address him. We're going to see him tomorrow, so you'll have another follow-up tomorrow. I think you leave uh, Sunday. Sunday. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow Sunday. Mm -hmm. no. Tomorrow's Saturday. Yeah. Oh shoot! Tomorrow's <laughs> it's 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 Friday. So we've got some days of follow up yeah. for this young man. Anyway, Lebo Gino and beyond six three one four two four zero one zero one or email me at jonathanlebowitzmd at gmail dot com. Thanks and see you soon.